Hello everybody, and welcome back to Soul Silver Randomized. Um, so looks like all the uh, Slowpoke are back, and their tails appear to have been healed actually. Over the uh, time that uh, it had been <laughs> since I uh, played last. Your balls. Or not heal balls, heavy balls. If I check this, I have two heavy balls. My ball catching very heavy Pokemon. Very nice. Alright. Alright, I'll turn the upgrades into Pokeballs. I think I just gave him those. Give them two yellow apricorns. Even though I don't think I'll be coming back here like at all, but still. <laughs> uh, I better heal up because there's gonna be a fight just before I step into um Ilex Forest here. So that's the thing. What wonderful health! He's coming in anytime. So, I'm doing an audiobook for my next series. And recording audiobooks is kind of difficult, actually. <laughs> Tell me something. It's true the team market has returned. What? You beat them? Ha! Ah, quit lying. Are you serious? Let's see how good you are. Versus Silver. I'm my rival Silver. Alright. So let's do this here. Um, is this the best matchup at the moment? I don't actually know. Let's use three attacks, see what happens. Oh, I got a miss. Alright then. <laughs> I'm also gonna miss again with Fury Sight. And Foresight! Which does nothing to me. It identifies me, which is like, I think that's like, if you use like double team or something, Foresight can like counter it. I think the same is true for like Odor Sleuth. It like lets you know which one is the right Pokemon basically. So, I think that's the way that works. I'm not entirely certain, because I've never like used Foresight, Foresight on anybody with like double team. And I never use double team, so I honestly have no idea. <laughs> Point things to kill it. Yep, crit. Nice. I like gained 225 experience points. Level 17, not bad. And then Kuwaba. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I want that Pokemon out for Kuwaba. Um, oh yeah, you do have moves, okay. Could not remember if Pio had any moves or not. Sandstream, that's fun. Couldn't get it going because of slow start. Oh yeah, that's right, Sandstream is my thing. I forget that. That didn't help much. I think that, like, that means that, like, after three rounds, though, he becomes more powerful. I don't think it's any more powerful than he, like, normally would be, so. Uh, well. Confusion. Oh, sorry. Confusion is, like, my, the only move I have. <laughs> and right now he's just using smokescreen, which is dropping my accuracy, I mean. But it's really not, like, hurting me. Obviously. He's saying to him the smoke screen doesn't even hurt. And I would think that my accuracy getting knocked down would affect like how well I hit with like confusion and psychic and stuff like that, but I don't actually know if that's true. <laughs> I mean he's knocked down my accuracy twice now, I'm still hitting freaking 
like a freaking truck here. So I mean, I don't know. I am not missing, obviously. So, that's what I'm rages. I really need to not have P.O. be like getting hit by that. I think that's like psychic fighting though. I really don't have like anything to counter. <sighs> I swear to Luna, I am really tired because I have been out all day doing other things. Say, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. Like, I've been out, like, all day doing things, and it's been ridiculous all day. Um, I did go to see the new Warcraft movie, so that helps. Well, that was fun. Not really helps any. Doesn't really help any, I guess, but it's definitely fun. You only battle with weak Pokemon. Really? If I only battle with weak Pokemon, then how come I'm beating your butt? I hate the weak Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. I think they're big and tough as long as they're in a the group. Let's get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. Stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. So I had a little bit of fun with Silver um, in my Poke Saga Johto series. I made him like evil, like really, really evil. Um, it's kind of interesting, actually. If you guys haven't checked it out, um, feel free to. <laughs> but like, you know, he's like the the rudest and like most evil like rival that the games have ever had. And so I like, I had fun with that, you know. Oh man, my boss is gonna be angry. Farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. You cut some for me? Farfetch of sensitive ears. Step on a branch, he'll face toward you. That's your chance. You get behind and catch some. Do you think you can do that? Of course, you have to step on the branch here to even get started. You face the direction of the noise when you step on the branch. But in reality, <coughs> it's actually super easy. Snuck up and caught it from behind, but it didn't notice you. Wow, you found a farfetch! Thank you! But there's one more missing. So far, friends will face that way. Remember, this is your chance to catch it. Sneak up on it slowly from behind. I mean, I could sneak up slowly, or I could just charge at it, like, at full, first, full force. I mean, that's fine too, right? Experience share. Let's see, what version of experience share we got going on here? Oh, cat. Whoops. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> experience share. The holder gets a share of a battle's experience points without battling. So it's like, you have to like give it to a Pokemon and then they get experience. I much prefer Gen 6's experience share, where it's just like a key item that sits in your inventory. Which I mean, I suppose that's why I went straight to the key items. I was kind of hoping to find it there for some reason, even though I knew it wouldn't be. Like, I was pretty sure that it was like, just a standard item. But, I mean, I suppose if you had five of them, or six of them, if you wanted to do it that way, so that no matter which Pokemon you have out, they get a share of the experience, but... This is like my feel a little bit more complex. Cleffa, what is with all these like low level Pokemon? I really thought that the Pokemon would be higher level than this. It's a little bit annoying too, cause like, why are the like Pokemon lower level, like so much lower level than like the gym and like the trainers? It's like the trainers are like level 11, and then the gym was like level 18. <laughs> it's like what the heck? This, what, what is this balancing issue here? You know? It just seemed weird to me. And I guess I wanted you to like fight many, like several Pokemon. To like level up and stuff, but... Oh, I feel like it's a little, I feel like it's a little bit weird to be honest. 
me joy were you awake? Hey, hey, do you remember my super cool Bonsley? Yay, it actually did keep track of that. My Bonsley is different from regular Bonsley. It's like my Bonsley is in the top percentage of Bonsley. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh god, it's just top, it, but let's start a new meme, top percentage Bonsley now. The top percentage Radita. That was not behind, apparently. That did not count as being from behind. Hmm. I mean, I guess it makes sense that that was behind, technically, but... Like, it's still not from the front. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember how to do this one, and I'm tired, so I'm, like, not thinking it straight. <laughs> I was like trying to build Yu -Gi -Oh, a Yu-Gi-Oh deck the other day and I couldn't do it because like I was just tired. How in the world am I supposed to do this? Like I can see how I could do it, but I can't get there with him facing in that like particular direction. And so now I'm confused. But I mean, look at this. Like, what the heck? I can just, like, take out all the Pokemon without even any problems. Like, now he's facing that way. But I can't get to him. Oh? Oh! Hello? The egg is hatched! Crichiana hatched from the egg! Wow! <laughs> Alright! Whoops! I told her I didn't want to name the Pucciana, even though I actually did. Oopsies! Well, I'll have to name it when I get to a name later or something. Well, I'm not going to tell. Oh man, I've got to level that Pucciana now then. That's going to be rough. Because it's like level 1. <laughs> I'll do that like off camera or something, leveling it up. It'll take me like forever though. But yay, Puchiana. I mean, come on. Again, why? Why are you level one? Why is it such a pain? Yep, I figured out what happened. Ready to catch it and I'll run. Maybe that'll get it into a position where I can actually get behind it. Not in the slightest. Not from here, no. That's like the only spot that you would be able to get behind it, but I don't see you being able to get behind it there. Because like all the paths are like, got Pokemon around them. Oh, you know what? I could use that experience chair that I got. I just realized I could do that. That would be nice. No peel. I'm going to use Tackle. I guess I could try that, try using the experience here at least until I can get it like high enough level to actually be worth like putting it out. And it's probably going to level pretty quick at first. Go to level 2. 25 experience points. So let's see. I use give as a button. Give to Pugiana. And then I can go to my Pokemon and switch it out for... Here really is the lowest level right now. Amy's the highest level. Alright, so somehow I have to catch the Farfetch'd when he's in that corner. That's just some other trick to catching that Farfetch'd, but like... Like, I can see that, like, if I do this, come up here, it'll turn the face towards me, but I don't know how to get around to, like, behind it. That's my problem. Also, it's been this bad experience here. We'll split the experience instead of just giving me, like, the experience for the battle. This is a little obnoxious. I really prefer the Gen 6 one. By the Pokemon, so it gets like 50% experience. 
Okay, I mean, if I do this, he turns. Oh, wait, hang on. I see it. There's a little, there's a little tiny, like, space there. Okay. That wasn't easy. Wow, you got both of them. Thank you so much. Most Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. <laughs> I love how they have to have badges in order to have freaking Pokemon obey. By far and fetched. You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. No, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. Yay, we got cut. HM Cut, teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. That's fine. I already have the gym badge from Azalea. I love how it's like, oh, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it, even though we can guarantee at this point that you would have, that you would, like, have cut. Um, what's the point in telling you this? <laughs> um... Do I want to give it to Violet, though? I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon that could learn it. I don't know. Let me teach Cut. Um... I don't know who to give it to. I guess I could give it to Pio, since Pio only has one attacking move right now. So that would work, because all P.O. has right now is confusion. So we'll do that. We'll give it cut. I know it's not the best move to give it, but I think there's like a move remover somewhere later in the game. So if I need to, I can always do that. Yes, I want to cut it. P.O. used cut. Yay. Now we can explore the Alex Forest. Which I think we'll do in the next episode. So if you've been enjoying, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to leave a like. And feel free to check out my Patreon. And I'll see everybody in the next episode of Soul Silver Randomized. Keep calm and punny on, everybody.